Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door Door Shut are coming back to you with a brand new tutorial video, actually. We are going to get into how to separate simple voice chat from Minecraft game audio. Uh, this is very useful for people who are making content, and I just wanted to put this out there because I spent hours looking into this, trying to figure out the best way, and the only way I figured this out was using the virtual audio cables here, but it does cost $5. So down here, it says if you find a VB cable useful, donate and get two other virtual audio devices. So of course there's A plus B and C plus D, doesn't really matter which one you get. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on this and then after you would then, you know, choose Apple or Mac and you then go here, you can go up to the top right and see that there is E, you are in USD, of course, depending on where you are. Uh, we're just going to click dollar. We then click I'm a fan, add to cart, create an account so that way you can come back and grab it later, and so on and so forth. Once you've donated, created the account, all of that fun stuff, it'll then download, and then you'll have access to the A plus B or C plus D or both if you really wanted both. Um, in this case, we only really need two. So let's get this installed here. Alrighty, so once we have this installed, you'll have a zip folder full of two zip files. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to offload these into another folder, basically decompress them. But I'm just going to do it kind of a lazier way instead of uh, doing it normally, we're just going to copy and paste into a folder called A and B and grab B. Okay, so once these are done, we can then go and get back to folder A or folder B, doesn't matter which order you install these, but we're going to go to VB cable underscore setup underscore x64 or the top one, which is x32, depending on your computer architecture. Of course, we're x64 and we're going to run this as administrator. This is a required step, so you must do that. And then we're going to and click install driver. And once that's installed, this will pop up, click OK. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for cable B. So we're just going to X64, run as administrator. And then, of course, we'll have the install driver option. And then we're going to click OK. All right, so down here in your sound settings, you should see that you have cable A, cable B, and of course, whatever other audio devices you have. We're going to actually quickly change this back to headphones because it defaulted cable B or the last installed one to your default sound device. Okay, so let's actually go to here. We're going to right click, open sound settings, go up in the top right sound control panel, and we are going to then make sure that our default device and default communication device are set back to our normal, whatever ones you use commonly, um, so that way cable B is not being used in any capacity as of current. Okay, and then we're going to preemptively also do this for our cable B output as well. We're going to keep our Blue Yeti here as our default device and default communication device. And the next thing we're going to do here real fast is go to properties, go to listen, go to listen to this device. And we're going to go to headphones, Logitech, that's my current headphones I'm using, my default ones. And this will allow for us to listen to cable A on our headphones no matter what happens. And that is fantastic, so we'll click apply. We're going to do the exact same thing to cable B, and this will be awesome. Okay, so cable B, make sure we turn listen to this device on. And actually that was supposed to be headphones. We're going to click apply, click OK, click OK again. And we're going to go to our Minecraft game here real fast. And what we're going to do is go to Music and Sounds. We're going to click on the default device here. And we're going to find whether a cable A or cable B. In this case, it does not matter, whichever one you prefer. And we're going to click Done. We're going to click Done again. I've got the Mods menu, um, the Mod Mod menu in here uh, that allows for me to actually view the mods and configure them in game here. So that'll be a little bit easier for us. We're just going to go up here. We're going to click configure. Once we're on simple voice chat, we're going to click I know what I'm doing. We're going to click confirm. Did that just fight me? There it goes. Okay. 
And then now what we're gonna do is once we're in the voice chat settings, we're going to go select speaker and we're going to go to cable B, okay? So this means that now we have this set up, okay? So of course, if you were to open up OBS here, which we're going to quickly launch another instance of, and we are going to go into our, let's see, let's create a new scene here real quick. And we're going to add a new audio channel. So output capture, and we're gonna say cable A. We could be more descriptive on these, of course. We're just gonna attach cable A here. And then we're going to attach another one, which is uh, cable B. And of course, we're gonna do the exact same thing where we attach cable B as the device. And now what should happen is once you're in game, you should see that cable A is actually picking up game sound. So of course, if we just click on things, you see that peaking, that means that it's good. The only way to, of course, test cable B is if you were in a multiplayer server, I would suggest that you get a friend or somebody else that has simple voice chat and allow for them to kind of test and, and change some settings and things like that. But the next thing we need to look at is actually separating these audio channels further in OBS or Streamlabs OBS. I believe it should be about the same. So quickly before we get that further separation, I quickly want to add an audio input capture just because this will be mic test. We're just going to throw that in here. And of course, this will be set with our default Blue Yeti. There we go. And of course, you can see that since I'm talking as of current, it's peaking. Let's go up to File, Settings. Let's go to Output. Let's make sure that we are in the advanced setting. We have Audio Track 1 set here, which is our master audio channel in a sense. And we're going to go to Recording. And of course, I'm currently in .mkv. Uh, MP4 will work as well here. You'll have these separate audio tracks. So however many audio tracks you think you need will be fine. Um, this is, of course, audio track one. You want to make sure that's checked because that's your master track. Two, three, and four. So we've got microphone, game sound, and simple voice chat. And of course, if you have like music or something and you're streaming, you could, of course, turn on five and six to have that separated further as well. So we can go there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here, go to advanced audio properties, and I've already kind of set this up a little bit, but we've got, of course, mic on two, uh, cable A on three, which is game audio, and then cable four is our simple voice chat. And this works as separating all the channels. And of course, whenever you go to edit this, you will have your master track that does have all of everything compressed uh, together. If you wanted to, of course, you can just mute that or delete that track depending on if you need it or not. And um, that is fantastic. So that is how you do this. All right, but with that, we're gonna wrap this one up here. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial because I know it helped me quite a lot going through this and I hope it'll help you. Of course, if you got any questions, please do leave them down in the comment section because I will try and help you as much as I can. Of course, if I don't know the answer, I will straight up admit that I don't know the answer and I may look into it for you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye bye